All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to look at 9-6, um, uh, the standards we're going to look at is factoring and solving uh, polynomial equations. You can go, Mrs. Medvick, we already did that in 9-5. We did do that in 9-5, but you'll notice there's a little bit difference in today's. You'll notice that in the 9-5, the A term was 1. Today, the A term is other than 1. So you're going to see 2, you're going to see 4, you're going to see 5, you're going to see different numbers, all right, which will cause things to be a little bit different. So if you look at the first problem, remember to get the term in this area right here. What did I do? I multiplied my A term and I multiplied my C term. So 2 times 5 is? 10. So in that part right now, I'm going to put 10. I did it before. The only difference is, is the A was a 1. All right, now in the bottom part of the X, I'm going to put negative 11 because that's my B term. All right now, what two numbers when I multiply them together give me that? Okay. So let's take negative 10 times negative 1. I get 10, sorry, 10. And if I take negative 10 plus negative 1, I get negative 11, which is true. So I'm going to put negative 10 and negative 1 down. Make sure you show your work. I got kids that aren't showing it. They think it's good enough. Then they go to factor and it's wrong. All right, now when I come back to my boxes, I'm going to put my polynomial in there. And then I'm going to put negative 10x in one of the boxes and negative 1x in the other one. And remember, I can flip-flop those. That's okay. But now I've got a problem, and this didn't happen before. Right? My problem is this. When I take these two numbers, in the past, I did x and x, correct? But x times x gives me x squared. It does not give me that other two. And so I've got to put another number in there. My problem is this. If I put the two here, when I come down here and try to get that negative 1, 2x times what gives me negative 1? I'm going to get fractions, and I don't like that. Okay? So what we're going to do on this is I'm going to multiply it by that, but you're going to notice that my 2x needs to go here and my 1x needs to go there. And the reason why is because 2x times what gives me negative 10x? Negative 5. Notice how nice that is. Okay, and then the lower left, negative 1x times what gives me negative 1x? Negative 1. And negative 1 times negative 5 gives me 5, so it works. Okay, so when I factor it, then I get x minus 5 and 2x minus 1, and I'm done. It doesn't ask me to solve, so I don't. We will get one that does solve. Questions? Okay, let's move on. Here's the next one. Right? I want to do the upper part of my x, so what do I get? Negative 15. And the reason why is that 5, this 5 right here, and this negative 3 right here, I multiply them together, and I get that negative 5. Okay? Lower part of my x is 2. Okay? What two numbers do I need now? I need 5 and negative 3, someone said. So 5 times negative 3 gives me negative 15, which is true. And 5 plus negative 3 gives me a positive 2, which is true. Okay, so I'm going to put my answer in. 
and it was 5n squared, 2n, and negative 3. I'm going to put 5n here, and I'm going to put negative 3n here. And again, those can be flip-flop. They don't have to be there. All right, now I'm going to look out front. What would you like the first one to be? It's going to be 5n. And the one up top is going to be n. And it makes sense because 5n times what gives me 5n? It's going to give me 1. If you did it the other way, you, you couldn't do it. It would be difficult. Okay. n times what gives me negative 3n? Negative 3. Negative 3 times 1 gives me negative 3, so I'm okay. So I get n plus 1 in parentheses and 5n minus 3 in parentheses. Questions? Okay, let's move on. Okay, this one you'll notice your A is negative. I would do something to this before uh, you actually factor it. And what I would do is that A I don't like as negative. So, oops. So what I'm going to do What I'm going to do with this problem is I'm going to multiply this whole thing right here by negative 1. All it does is change the signs. So I'm going to get 4x squared minus 4x minus 3. Right? So now, what do I get in the top part of my x? Negative 12, because 4 times negative 3 gives me negative 12. Down below is negative 4. What two numbers? Negative 6 and 2. Okay, negative 6 times 2 gives me negative 12. Negative 6 plus 2 gives me negative 4. That works. Right, so now the answer that I put in my boxes will be my new one. I'm going to put negative 6x here, and I'm going to put 2x here. Now I'm going to stop for just a minute. I've got a problem. My problem is this. Do you notice my a term is 4? What are the two factors of 4? 2 times 2 and 1 times 4. So this up above and alongside, I could have 4x and x, or... I could have 2x and 2x. It becomes a little bit trickier when you have this, okay? In our purposes right now, it's 2x and 2x. But you are going to have problems with this. So you just guess and check. It'll eventually pan out. You just got to keep looking for factors, okay? 2x times what gives me negative 6x? Negative 3. 2x times what gives me 2x? 1. Okay, so my factors then are 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 1. Questions? Okay. I'm going to go down now. I'm going to skip the 5 slide and I'm going to go to 6 just to solve. And we've done solving before. Um, it's just, we're going to add another step in here. All right, so let's go ahead and do the top part of the x, which is negative 70 down below, negative 3, my factors. Now, the student that had trouble with this earlier today, if you have trouble with the factor part of it, all you need to do is make a list. So like, you know, 1 times 70. Um, 2 times 35, 3 doesn't go into it, 4 doesn't go into it, 5 goes into it. So it's 5 times what? 16? Yeah? No. Too high. 
14? Yeah. 5 times 14. 6. No. 7. Yes. 7 times 10, right? So you make your list of factors. Use your calculator if you don't know them. And then go ahead and look at what you would use. What would you use? You'd use 7 and 10, and 10 would be negative because the answer has to be negative. Okay? Notice that it helps if you write that list. And then multiply. And that works, of course. So 2x squared minus 3x minus 35. Okay, what do you want to use? Wait, I gotta put in my things. Negative 10x and 7x. Okay, what do you want to use? 2x goes here. How about here? 1x. How about here? Negative 5. How about here? 7. If I multiply the negative 5 and the 7, do I get negative 35? Yes. So I end up with x minus 5 and 2x plus 7, and what do I do if I'm supposed to solve? Equals to 0. Very good. Okay, now what do I do? Yes, x minus 5 equals 0, and? Well, okay, that's a great question. Do I divide by 2 to get rid of the 2x? I have to subtract 7 first. That's correct. There's our hands-on equations, our algebra. Divide by 2. X gives me, you can either put negative 3.5 or you can do negative 3.5. I'm fine with either. And then what do I do with the other one? I'm going to add 5. Absolutely. Notice I'm showing my work because you're in algebra. All right? What do these numbers stand for? What's going on? It's where what crosses the x-axis? The parabola. It's where the parabola crosses the x-axis. All right. All right. Good. That's it for today.